Hey, back here talking to Mike from Footprinting and Mike, we just got done doing a video on, you know, what is a soft proof, hard proof, press stuff. Um, is there is there a particular type of proofing that's right for a particular type of job you're doing? I mean, you know, obviously if I'm doing business cards, I probably don't have to stop in for a press check, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's probably, well, you tell us what's what might be the right job, the right to, proofing level, I'll call it that way, based on the job you're doing. Well, honestly, it, it's changed a lot in the last 10 years, like we keep talking about. And uh, where we used to do physical proofs on everything, yeah. now I'd say about 80 to 90% of our proofs are always just digital. You know, we're gonna look at the screen and we're, we're gonna make sure that colors match. We've got the Pantone books to match if you've got some spot color matching that you need. So we're gonna make it look the best we can. You just need to double check that your artwork and the way it was sent and was correct. But where you might want a hard proof, which is a little, you know, a little bit more effort, would then be, are you sure about the folding? You know, is this a big brochure? Do you have a, bro a sal stitch brochure where it's uh, coming across? You know, from one page to yeah. next, you want to make sure that lines up. You know, if it's a trifold, did you leave enough room from where the type is that when we cut that smaller panel to fold in? Yeah, that's right. That you're going to have space there, or is it going to be right butt up against where we're cutting? Yeah, because so, you don't think about the redesign; it might look like cattywampus. It's almost like your design yeah, is off a bit. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. Or, you know for other scenarios where it's just a harder, tougher project and you're not 100% sure that you've, you know, sometimes they fold out like this and you've got to then have it upside down or whatever, yeah. or a calendar where the back needs to be upside down, just to make sure and make yourself feel confident. Yeah. Or if you're concerned about certain colors or pictures showing up correctly. On a screen, you're not going to really notice that. Uh, sometimes low res pictures on a screen can still look good, yeah. but when you print them, they don't look good. I mean, we're usually going to look through that anyways and let you know yeah but you might want a hard proof to look over yourself before we go and you know print thousands of them or a couple hundred of them whatever it might be last one would be a press proof press proof i would really only recommend in certain circumstances where it's really important like you got a spot color or you're printing on uncoated papers where it's going to soak in a little bit so it's not going to have the shine to it that a digital proof would have or that, that it looks like on your screen when you yeah. look at something you have that bright shine you know well you're printing with inks on an uncoated sheet there's going to be zero shine to it it's going to look different and even some spot colors are going to look different on a gloss as opposed to that. So those are some scenarios. And if it's a corporate color, it's really important spot color. Oh, yeah. Those sure. are some scenarios that if you're very concerned about it, it's very important. Um, you might want to come in and do a press proof just to make sure that you're happy with it or even just comparing it to other products if you've printed stuff elsewhere yeah. or other products that are printed on other materials to make sure corporate color matches that you could bring that in or give it to us to match. And if we don't have 100% faith that we could match it to there or we're having issues, you could come in and look, double check, and then we'll go from there. And I, I don't know, you guys are in yeah, communication with the, the designer and your client and all that. So if, yeah. they're, if they're anywhere along the way, they're not sure, you're gonna help them go, yeah, maybe come in or no, we're gonna be good here. So that's... Yep. And that's the value of having a decent printer. Who knows? Uh, who knows what the heck they're doing? And has been doing it for a little, little while now. Haven't you guys Long been time. in business? <laughs> so hey, footprinting. Uh, if you're not at the website, get there right now. Footprinting.com. And uh, if you like what you see, and I think you will, give Mike and the gang a call.